Thank you for tuning in once again. It is your boy Green Leaves Grower. On this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a new grow series that we have going on here in my channel. We have some LA Confidential, some Tropicana cookies, and some runts, all from ILGM. Like most of my grows, I let the seeds sit in water for about 24 hours before planting them into soil. And for this run, the soil we're using is Happy Frog from Fox Farms. For this grow, we're also trying out a new space that I converted. It was a walk-in closet and now it's a four by seven foot grow room. We have the FC3000 from Mars Hydro, the TSL2000 from Mars Hydro, as well as the SP150 from Mars Hydro that we're starting these seeds under. We also do have the Mars Hydro seedling or heating mat. And we have that cranked up to a nice 86 degrees Fahrenheit. So that nice warm soil should help these seedlings get sprouted very quickly. About 24 hours later, they did pop up out of the soil. I also used the cover to a cloning tray to help keep that humidity up. This was my first time using a heating mat for the seedlings and I noticed that their growth was exponential. It definitely helped a lot, but I did notice that the seedlings did end up a little bit more lanky than I'm used to. A really easy way to stunt your plant's growth is to overwater them in the seedling stage and I've done this many times. So I've just been trying to give them about a quarter to a half shot glass worth of water every time. I'm also aiming to keep my humidity above 60% for the first week or two of the seedling's life. Setting up the earth boxes is really simple. You have these two corners on either side that are designed to wick up the water from your reservoir down below. You want to just pack in that soil tightly so that it doesn't you know, come apart and you want to add a little bit of water into it just to kind of set it in place. And then you're simply just going to add your soil up top and just fill it in. Make sure that your tube for the reservoir is stationary, it is stable, and then you're basically good to plant into them, not too difficult. We're about three weeks from seed now. Unfortunately, the plants did get a little stunted due to some cold weather, but it's not a big deal. I expect them to bounce back almost immediately once they're in these bigger containers. We're also adding some white clover seed, and I did add another 12 seed cover crop that I didn't include in the video, but this is gonna give us a nice layer of cover crop over the base of the soil. When this sprouts, it's gonna help maintain the soil's moisture. It's also gonna add more organic matter into the soil and basically just improve the soil's overall health. Once we watered in those transplants, we threw them back into the 4x7 grow room under the FC3000 and the TSL2000 from Mars Hydro. So I also did a top dressing of 542 BioLive from Down to Earth Fertilizers, as well as a top dressing of 444 Vegetable Garden from Down to Earth Fertilizers. And the cherry on top is some worm castings as well as some OptiVeg. And OptiVeg basically has chitin in it, which is insect bodies, land-based insect bodies. Don't really know, it's good for your plants though. So we're gonna get a ton of mycorrhiza and biology and microbes into the soil. Simply just gonna water that in there too. And this will break down over the course of the next few weeks as these plants get bigger and then we'll start filling up that reservoir down below and the plants will just absolutely explode or at least i hope other than that this has been episode one of the earth box grow series if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more make sure to smash that like button down below as well as subscribe it's been your boy green leaves grower and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out